Also a top story right now, Vice President Kamala Harris is heading to Honduras and Sunrise reporter Victoria Balderrama is live in studio with the reason for her trip and its impact on South Texas. Good morning. Good morning, Sierra. And we know Harris left from Joint Base Andrew this morning to attend the inauguration of President-elect Diomara Castro, the former first lady of Honduras, Castro will become the first, the nation's first female president. President Joe Biden has asked Harris to oversee diplomatic relations with the Northern Triangle countries, which also includes El Salvador and Guatemala. Harris says one of her main goals will be working with Castro to help address the root causes of migration to the U.S. southern border. Customs and Border Patrol reports the Rio Grande Valley sector, which includes the coastal bend, saw the largest number of 137 thousand apprehensions back in December, with more than 25 percent of those taken into custody were from the Northern Triangle countries. Harris's visit is high profile because corruption and crime are prevalent in that area. That's made securing partners there difficult for previous administrations. Castro won her election on a campaign that included promises to address these issues, which are seen as key causes of migration. Reporting in the studio, Victoria Valderrama, Chris Six Sunrise. Thanks so much, Victoria.